Hi guys, welcome back to Moose Den. This is your host, Speaking MacGyver. In today's episode, we're actually continuing where we left off last week of our Age of Empires 4 Definitive Edition uh, tutorial Let's Play series how to, you know, build wikes. Um, last time we'd gone, we built all the stuff to get to the Second Age, aka your main town center, your um, farms. Ooh, what does this mean? Um, some workshops and basically a hospital. We also have our handy dandy spearmen here. We built a mine and then we advanced through the enemy blockade and destroyed their outpost here, building two stables and actually finding some more help along the way. So let's get back to it. So we're going to build 10 horsemen. Both of them will be dropped off at the same spot. Let's see. So if I double click, I can actually do that like in Age of Empires 2. You can click multiple buildings at once and queue up uh, men so that it'll actually be built at the same time. So these are actually horsemen, where these right here are scouts. Scouts move really fast, but don't hit very hard. Well, the horsemen move faster. But I think the scouts have the innate ability where they can see pretty far. So I need to build 15 horsemen. So I'm actually going to build 20. Four and three. Eight. Uh, 18, I have how many built? I have 10 built, I have 8 queued up. There, well, 20. Ooh, I need to build more houses. So, houses are required, we'll build some handy dandy houses. And have them go back to work. The town now had a rapid light cavalry, skilled at harassing slower targets, such as archers. I'm gonna take the most weak uh, injured men. Uh, out. So these five, send them back home into the hospital zone. This is basically a hospital. It's the thing you have to build to go with the next age. Um, so in this radius, anyone inside the radius for every 1.5 seconds require, re gets back one health. So it takes a while to heal, but it's free health. So. Control 3. Now these guys should be, um, yes, they're control 4. There. Actually, no. I don't have these guys control 4. I would rather have the horsemen. Okay. So I'm gonna have these guys go into attack. Control 3. Have these guys come in and destroy their archery outpost. I have my honey dandy helper archers here go around, not archers, but uh, scouts, basically search around for, you know. They're basically looking around to see if there's any honey dandy helpers around. The cavalry eliminated the enemy archers and moved on to destroying the archery range itself. The invaders archers and their camp were destroyed. A final enemy emplacement remained. One fortified with palisades and defended by spearmen. So it's probably going to get me archers. To deal with this target, the town would need longbowmen. First they needed to build archery ranges in the area regained from the invaders. I'm gonna walk over here and see if these pop out some handy dandy villagers. Beautiful. Once more, friendly villagers arrive to help. So, we have these right here. 
Eat your work, Cap. So, number three, yes, this here. Yeah, Four, but... these guys yes, here. Hmm. Might as well have these guys, you know, take out some of the uh, stuff. Um, have these guys build me some more. Uh, so I did hit shift click, so they're actually going to finish work, the log they were on first. But queuing this up first, they will then proceed uh, to build these first. So I will retreat these guys just so they're not they're out of harm's way. With several archery ranges in place, the town could add longbowmen to its forces. Beautiful. There should be five per, if I did this correctly. So yes, there is five per. When you are doing shift click to multiple buildings, they will actually put one building as number one, one building as number two, and one building as three. So this will have two, two, one, you know. Three, 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 and so on and so forth. Strail borders, Yaru. Flat Volga, a rod. Strail borders, Yaru. One, two, one, two. Strail borders, Yaru. Strail borders, Yaru. These guys are actually built in seven seconds. So, seven seconds for the archers. Eleven seconds for horsemen and seven seconds for spearmen, with workers being at ten. A strong force of archers could eliminate enemy spearmen at a distance. Nice. So long as they took the proper position. Ah. Using the uh, hills to the advantage. Now, your best bet here is to have archers up on the wall here with cavalry surrounding them. Actually, having your cavalry off the side, so when all spearmen leave, you rush in with your cavalry, with your spearmen guarding the floor, because you're gonna have whenever you have archers. In, uh, the enemy will also try to uh, kill them with their own cavalry. Let me get back to the cavalry. So, I do need to actually get. One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had some... My car decided to die. <laughs> little side note. And basically, uh, we're looking into getting a new one. And uh, my mom was just coming in and showing me a suggestion. Oh, no, yes, I still do live with my parents because I'm still going to college. And college is bloody expensive, so I commute from home. But since my car died, I need to get a new one. Yeah, if you, if, word of the wise, kids. If you ever... Okay, these are 8,000 gold. So they do have a limit. If you guys ever do go to college or whatnot, which... I leave up to you when it comes to college because it's a it's a finicky thing when it comes to college. Um, college is useful for some jobs, yes, but it's not useful for all jobs. Find a job you want and see if you need college. Do not get college and then try finding a job you want because it won't necessarily be a thing. Um, yeah, 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 I'm sure yeah. that's cool. All right, you guys are five. Once the other warriors come over, yeah, yeah, what? I might have Eat actually built an extra guy, but that's yeah. fine. Hey, you're at Yar, steady faster, new. Hey, you're right, us Yahweh. Hey, you're right, us Yahweh. Okay, these guys, what? Number four. Yeah. Actually, I do need to scout out the area ahead with some scouts, not my spearmen. Got we gone? Three, twenty-five. Beautiful. Looks like to get up there, I will need to advance up on this hill. 
double check out these guys before I send in my archers. These guys do have good attack, but they are pretty weak to uh, quick advances, as you guys did see. Just saw. Um. So, cliff tops looks pretty good. Alright, we're gonna send you guys up here. Actually, no, I just want these guys. Does it do all 40? It doesn't! Oh, that's nice! Sometimes the game is stupid. It tries to send if you select all of them. It's not stupid, it's just that you collect the wrong things all. Put these guys here. Put them in the back. I don't want them to shoot right away. So. A uh, unit is not currently standing guard. Click to order to do so. You are standing guard attacks enemies within range, but does not chase enemies unless ordered to. Okay, I don't want them to attack me. Um. Poised on a cliff top, the longbowman would be protected from an infantry charge. These guys here, these guys here. These guys will be standoff over here. Um, they keep glitching out, which is actually kind of funny. As soon as these guys get out of the way, I should have yeah, them out of here, actually. Um, charge these guys in to attack the main force. The last of the invaders fell to the resurgent homegrown population. Now that their lands were free of enemies, the town could take the next step in its growth and become a powerful medieval city. Advance the castle. Here too, the erection of a great landmark would be the signpost of this growth. So, I have these guys stationed here. And I do need my scouts. So I'm gonna have them search around, see if there's any need any helpers in the area, without me having to run all the way over here to where I have some guys set up. But I will actually have these four start coming here, so we'll have the handy dating landmark right where their barracks used to be. Uh, there it is. I did have a scout over here, didn't I? It should take a while to destroy stuff, you know what they do? Well, they're not very strong, but they do uh, have a niche. Interesting. More gold. That's actually pretty cool if you look at the design. Whenever I do campaigns on that, I actually won't destroy walls. Now the reason that is, is because you can't destroy your own wall, especially if you're an AI. They won't systematically go and delete these, or anything. So it's actually really useful to utilize their walls against them. Let's see, where are those villagers at? Did they get here already? Yeah, yes, right here. Yes. The archers are back. So there they are. Here upper. So when you click and like you guys saw in the last episode where I was a bit confused. Uh guess it helps if you read it. So you have to click this and then select the landmark. I'm gonna put the landmark right in the middle here. And then this will actually all landmarks actually heal your guys, which is actually really cool. So, I'm gonna have these guys stationed over here. Yeah. Scout over here. He cannot proceed any further, but he can see if the enemy come to come attack us. I'm actually gonna have these guys then proceed to build a gold mine right where this one used to be. Nothing says ha to your enemy than uh, taking their gold. I even, oh, it is mined a bit, which sucks. But, uh, 
So good, you know, good amount there. Uh, looks like I'm low on food. That is kind of my lowest resource, so I am gonna have these two guys build another farm. And then proceed to build two fields. Hopefully they figure it out what they're supposed to stand afterwards. Uh, the White Tower. Where a few lowly refugees had founded a small village, now rose a mighty city. From there would grow an empire. Well, a lot more villagers all of a sudden. With that, guys, we are victorious. So, if you do find yourself enjoying this, please head down below, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you have more questions, feel free to leave them down there as well. Um, thank you all for watching, and God bless. So, that is actually our tutorial of how to play basic, and I will continue on with this to see how it continues. Thank you all, and have a good rest of your week.